What is up everyone and welcome back to more Bayonetta. Yes, we are here with chapter 11 and in the last episode we had the dreaded <sighs> boss rush. I can't stand boss rush levels, although it wasn't that bad to be honest with you. Devil May Cry has like the worst boss rush levels. Don't even at me. I know some of you really like that because you're like, it's a good time to like test your skills and things like- No! No! Okay? Boss rushes. They're bad. Just saying. Don't panic. I'm here. No need to worry about a thing. Swap it with that one. Hey, sir. Can you see me? Because he doesn't have the glasses on. Huh. He lost a 
his eyeball, well, though. What do you think we should do? He's hurt you, has he? Well, we can't be having that now, can we? Hi, tentacle boss. I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm not even gonna bother. Ah, Cheshire, oh, baby. Okay. Go kitty cat. Go kitty cat. Ow. Go kitty cat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Haha. <laughs> this is gross. Bitches. So what, what do I? No! Expert evading skills right here. We've almost got him anyway. Nice, 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 nice.
That fight was freaking cool, though. How about now? Still not enough. You can go another round, can't you? Your soul, your gold, causes for us. Lunci, Lunci, Laia, Pila. The Lumen Sage. Ulso, Kalasa, Ua Una Pala, Ulprit Alors, Ayosa, O, Tibil Kala. See you later. Now, where are my new best friends? I suppose one of them is an adult, so they should be okay. Yeah, we both know which one is the adult. Alright, that was fun. I really enjoyed that boss fight. But, did I get a decent grade? Silver? Well, it's not bad. I mean, I'm used to getting stone awards, so... Getting a silver award, it's pretty good. Here we go. Angel attack. I hope they've got this in the second Bayonetta game. I need to buy it on the Switch. I haven't done a proper series on my Switch just yet. I want this guy. Kill. Oh, I'm freaking out! Yes! That was the shot. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I just needed 40, and we got 40. So that is fine. We have 41,000, so we can make our way into the gates of hell for just now. There's not much exploration going on at the moment. The Broken Sky, Chapter 12. You bring me enough of these halos, and maybe I can buy a ticket to space. Always wanted to be a bald space marine. <laughs> what can I do for you, anyways? <laughs> I don't know, okay? What is that? I'm gonna buy that because I'm not sure what it is. Uh, techniques. Bat within. What is that? Unleash the bat within, transforming yourself into a flock of scattering bats. After I'm pressing it! Hmm, I don't know if I like that. I don't... <laughs> I mean, it looks kind of kinky, so we could go ahead and do that one. I want to get a bunch of these, because they save my lurf, and... Yes, I'll take that too. Right, let's get on out of here. Chapter 12, let's be having you, and uh, let's find out what is going on in the story because I have absolutely no idea and neither do most of you in the comment section so it's all good baby it's all good excuse me sir may I have my glasses back huh oh yeah here you go Cereza how did you get such magical glasses <laughs> the glasses aren't magic silly I can see the monsters without them Monsters? Not quite. So, uh, has Bayonetta, I mean your mom, 
been fighting these big bad monsters for a long time? Mummy is a witch, and witches protect people and are very strong. When I grow up, I'll be strong too, and I'll protect my mummy. Wait, you think witches do what? Oh, forget it. No point in arguing with a little kid. I'll manage on my own. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Never cease to amuse me, Cheshire. I suppose that's your next target? <laughs> this is yours, little one. You didn't cry while I was gone, did you? Nope. Good. Bayonetta, no matter how I ask, no matter how many times, you always say the same thing. Come now, Kitty. You know it was A all misunderstanding. Just... You're so stubborn, you know that? My father. He was a journalist, too. In fact, he was twice the man I could ever hope to be. He was obsessed with one case his entire career case so bizarre it took over his life. They could have made a movie of the details. The followers of darkness, the Umbra witches, and their light world counterparts, the Lumen Sages, controlling everything with a power known as the Eyes of the World. Then, the Light and Dark clans suddenly disappeared from their medieval home in Europe. You may be familiar with the town. You're standing in it. Welcome to Vigrid, 500 years later. 500 years? Each clan, working at the behest of the powers that be, sought to lead their fractured world towards peace. They both possessed an eye said to have the power to create history that they used to oversee the world. However, their spirit of cooperation did not last. For amongst them, a pair of young star-crossed lovers conceived a child that sent the clans on a path to ruin. The woman was thrown in jail, and the man exiled from his clan. However, the child remained with the Umbra, raised as a black sheep even amongst the darkness. Since the balance between light and dark had been lost, both clans spiraled into decay. The legend had it that the two eyes could be united to control reality itself. And this legend fueled ambition and desire, leading to a myriad of battles between the clans. In fact, it led to their mutual destruction. My father was mocked for buying such a fairy tale. However, I believed his story. And I believe it more than ever now that I've found you. The memory of the clan lingers on, despite the passing of 500 years. What on earth was my father searching for? And why did he have to die for it? I have to discover the truth with my own eyes. That's why I haven't given up my chase for it. Or you. The head of the Ithaval Group, a multinational that dominates Vigrid, recently tried to sell an enormous gemstone on the black market. If he isn't selling out in the open, it means we're going to have to acquire it by other means. And that starts by sneaking onto that jet. Wasn't the jet just moving? something I am how did you lose it little one do you have anything you really like something really important to you Cheshire 
Yes, this. I love it. Where did you get this? You gave it to me, Mummy, for my birthday. When you love something, never lose it. Understand, little one? You must keep it safe, close to your heart. I'm trying to see, it's the thing that's... It's attached. <laughs> Is that a little girl? <laughs> on Bayonetta's heart. Is it on this side? Her heart's on this side. Okay. It's the thing on her chest. Um, excuse me? Oh my god. This is intense. I'm sure she just said flock off. I mean, it would make sense. What is that? Oh, I got one of those already. Uh. Oh my lord. Ha! Ah, what the fuck are you? <laughs> uh, flock off, Featherface. Jesus. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. Come on, really? Is that a book to read? Holy cow! It's been a while since we've had uh, story time. Excuse me, no! Why? Did it not want me to read that file? Crap, man, that could be... That could be any of them. No! Was it this one? Or... So that's the enemies. Antonio's notebook. Oh, I missed. I missed one. Ah, look, there we go. Whew, found it. Unfittingly for a city of its small size, Vigrid plays host to a large military airbase. The roar of takeoff and landings that engulf the city are not that of passenger planes, but of incredibly large military transport jets known as Valkyries. I have been abroad American military transport. I've been aboard American military transports many times in an official capacity and I've seen many of the finest jets up close. However, none compares to even a distant view of a Valkyrie. The size difference is clearly evident. Like the difference in size between a crow and an eagle. To think that something that large could fly in the sky is something that I still cannot believe despite having seen it with my own eyes. Of course there is no doubt that the cargo it carries is quite dangerous, 
So seeing the plane's huge mass literally drop onto the runway during landings causes me to feel a deep anxiety, as if the weight of the plane were literally landing on my shoulders. It leads one to wonder what the authorities are bringing into this little... principality? With all the extreme security they have in place, Vigrid has long since cut most ties with the outside world and has reared itself within its own unique culture. Perhaps it is this influence that led to the Valkyrie's equally unique design. At a glance, one can see the deep religious influence in its design. Or perhaps that view is simply our deference to a plane born of technology so different from our own that we simply nod our heads in astonishment at the miracle of flight. So that's what we're on just now. This thing is mental. It just seems to like... Uh oh. Oh, not good. Unfortunately, I'm going to need to use one of these. What? Again? Oh, Lord. Lordy, Lordy, Lord, or Lord. of the man-made island of Isla del Sol. There is a display of sheer military force unimaginable for the likes of Vigrid. A display whose menacing power even I cannot shake. While there is very little public face to these efforts, if my information is correct, the military spending here rivals that of even the great powers in the world. Moreover, amongst the towers of enterprise and government, other buildings stand as anti-aircraft countermeasures. These buildings, a strategic defense initiative known as the Gallerhorns, are equipped with a battery of anti-aircraft SAM missiles and have pla been placed in four corners of the island. What in the world would cause a small place like this to install such dramatic defenses? There is also word that the Americans are involved in the ar armament and expansion of the military complex here. It is said that the... Ithavol, it said that word so many times, I never get it right. Group is undertaking some sort of next generation energy research, and thus has traded rights to this technology for added force of arms. It is not a wholly unbelievable story. Seeing all of the military takeoffs and landings here in Vigrid, I don't want to think their destination is actually the place I call home. Do I need to? Wait. Can I... Ah. Uh, oh! Wait a minute, what's this? 
Um, I did want to go into the gates of hell because I, I didn't feel like I needed to. Back to your old self, are we? Hello? Oh no. Why so glum? Something troubling you? Only your constant fretting over my state of affairs. I've no time to play games with you. No need to take out your stress on me, Bayonetta. It's clear you're worried for the girl. It when she calls you mummy. You're absolutely delusional. If I leave her, he'll never shut up about it. And his whining is twice as irritating as anything the child could muster. <laughs> You've quite the tongue when it comes to curling round the truth. And what about you? What are you hiding? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the might mean something to you. <gasps> I've no need for worthless junk. I am well aware of my task, but you have forgotten. I do not need your help. <laughs> oh shit, we are going down. Well done. Your little friend is gone forever. with hatred. Accept your violent fate. Accept it and earn the left eye. Prove you deserve it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
bitch. sure about that one. Not yet. She isn't ready. What do you mean? Are you actually my mother? Is that what this is? Oh. Fuck. What? 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 You know what? Let's just go to the gates of hell. Just for a second. This is gonna be bad. You here for business or pleasure? Either way. I'll hook you up. Business, my dear. Strictly just business. See you later. I don't know why I can't just stay down in the gates of hell. It looks like it's great. It's just chill and great. Uh... Rises. Oh, I see. Well, let's just take a, a quick break. The eyes of the world. Several hundred years ago, the now vanished clans of the Umbra Witches and Lumen Sages stood as overseers of time. Uh, immore immemorial? <laughs> Thriving from their remote European base known as Vigrid. However, their reign quickly came to a close via a violent war that ended in their mutual destruction. Their war lasting for a hundred years saw so the witches and their campaign of assassination push them to the brink of victory. Yet the people's fear of these powerful women spawned the witch hunts and eventually both clans vanished into the ether. Long serving the powers that be, it is said the clans did not use their powers to interfere with history but rather to protect its passage. 
We are told that they carried out these duties via use of their treasured eyes of the world. Yet what is this statement? What this statement means is anyone's guess. What is clear is that the clan's very existence was closely linked to the historical change, so much so that even kings and emperors feared the clan's power. There were two eyes of the world, one each controlled by the witches and the sages, which when used together were able to carry out their stated task of overseeing. To prevent the power of these eyes from being used for nefarious purposes, they were equally split and the clans prohibited interrelations in an effort to maintain the power, the balance of power that existed between them. Okay, so we just learned that that didn't happen though because a man and a woman had a baby and they were of, of like the opposition. The irony is that the grand war that led to the clan's destruction was sparked by these very treasures. After their downfall, the eyes of the world suddenly disappeared. Information about them is extremely limited. What sort of item were the eyes? What shape did they take? All this remains unknown. The black markets recently saw a large gemstone come into the market bearing the name of the eyes of the world. Although it may be a different item under the same name, or even a mafia scam meant to gauge market reaction. There is no proof that the ancient treasure was actually a gem, but there is reliable, albeit troubling, information regarding the treasure and the CEO of the Havel Group. It is said that he is in search of some unknown item for his development project in the next generation energy, but whether it has any relation to this matter requires further research. Okay, I have to get over there. Ready. Okay. Uh, uh, I might actually take a, a barrier while I'm here too. rising. Oh no. You and your stupid trumpet? Right, come on, let's go, let's go. Are you kidding me? Oh, we crashed into the... This is an 
isn't a game over screen, is it? I didn't even know we'd crashed into the water. When did that happen? Oh lord. Uh. What? Where the hell did you guys come from? I am in this fucking water. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Fuck off! What the fuck? Oh my god! Holy shit! We gotta kill these guys ASAP. Uh, or not? Little one died. Damn it! Okay, uh, remember you can climb up walls, okay? That's always a thing. You can stay there. That's for me. I hate these fucking things. Like, I can't even fucking hit them. The water is rising. Block that, like literally. Die, please. Oh, my God, that sucked. That sucked so hard. Right now what? Oh my god! That chapter sucked! At least that last bit, man. That was hard. No one cares about your stone award. No one cares. Whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, that was rough! That was so rough! Ooh, I refuse to put the difficulty down. I don't even know if I can, actually. Dun, dun, dun. This is like the calm after the storm, you know? We get to like chill out. I'm on to a new record! 101 points, baby! Yeah! I feel like this is what is actually saving me. Uh, nothing else. <laughs> I got 61 left. What's that? Oh, okay. That. Whew! Oh, man. So that's the helicopter scene done, which was ridiculous. How much do I have for the gates of hell? 8,000 is all. It's not great, it's not very much. Let's go ahead and save it. Uh, this one here. Ah, all right. I am all out of time for this episode. We're getting through it. Okay, I know what you guys say. I read what you guys say, but we are getting through this and I refuse to put the difficulty down. <laughs> 
So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!